Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we also get a Windows 11 23H2 Patch Tuesday security update that has rolled out, which for April 2025 is KB5055528. And the update is mandatory, so the OS build will be bumped up to 22631.5189 after the update has been installed. Now, the update addresses security issues, as all the updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month do. And for Windows 11 23H2, we get 66 vulnerabilities that have been patched. That's six more than Windows 10. And three of those are critical, which is one less than Windows 10, and 64 are important. And the three critical vulnerabilities that have been fixed are all remote code execution vulnerabilities. So three critical, so that's your highest rank vulnerability, so quite an important security update that is rolling out. Now over and above the security fixes, Microsoft said that there are daylight saving time updates for the AZEN region in Chile to support the government DSD change order in 2025, so that would be region specific. That also rolled out for Windows 10. And then the update includes improvements that were part of KB5053657 that was released on the 25th of March. So that was the optional bug fix C release update rolling out towards the end of last month. So if you didn't install that update, it was optional. Those improvements and fixes will be carried over into this update as is the norm. Now I posted a whole video on the update. So um, I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. Now just to do a quick recap for the purpose of this video, go check the video out for more info. If we head into our settings system and we scroll down to about, the update adds the new top cards at the top of the about settings page, which gives you a quick glance and a quick overview as to key specifications of different hardware like storage, graphics card, installed RAM and your processor, which I think is a nice touch and I think it is actually quite a handy little add-on and improvement to the user interface, especially for your average home user. And the update also enables the gamepad keyboard layout for the touch keyboard which I think is going to make a lot of users happy because this has been a long time coming. Microsoft actually rolled this out a while back and then they pulled it, worked on it, and now it's rolling out to the stable version once again. And if you are using the emoji panel, it adds a new emoji panel system tray icon on the taskbar. Now, these features are rolling out progressively, so I still haven't received the emoji button. But nonetheless, it will be here in the system tray of the taskbar. So the good news with that though is if you don't want it, because I would just consider that to be our candy. If you don't use it, you can turn it off in settings. So I'll let you know about that though when that does roll out and I get and I actually get that feature in real time. I can show you something. I'm just going to mention the next. It introduces Chinese support for voice access, which is an accessibility feature, and it included a lot of other bug fixes taking place under the hood, but there were those four new features that were rolling out for 23H2. So that's more or less, guys, what's new in KB5055528 for Windows 11 23H2. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.